Well, the job of a teacher is forever changing. Not only are they expected to educate our children, but now they have to protect them. For the first time ever, teachers are training like police, learning what to do if a gunman enters their school. News 10's Brittany Earle explains how teachers are taking a more active role in protecting their students. Shots fired <laughs> inside school walls. A scenario police train for, but what about those who work there? What should they do while help is on the way? If there are doors that do not have to be utilized, lock them. Please lock them. That's what the unarmed response to active shooter training is for. A course taught by Indiana State Police geared towards teachers. A newly created course North Putnam Assistant Principal Jason Chu has never seen or heard of. This is the first time um, that we've been to one of these trainings where they've really talked in depth about that time, that short window of time from when the, the active shooter actually begins to the time when law enforcement enters the, the building. Sergeant Corey Robinson with the Indiana State Police is one of several officers running the demonstration across the Hoosier State. Our hopes is that it gets them thinking to a more tactical uh, kind of a mindset on how better to protect themselves and their students. Officers watched teachers down hallways of North Putnam High School sharing tips on how and where to hide or when to escape. Then came the moment every teacher fears, an intruder enters the school. To give teachers a real life feel for how long it takes for help to get there, Sergeant Robinson set a timer for 4 minutes and 37 seconds, the same time it took officers to respond to Sandy Hook Elementary. We want them to kind of be exposed to that so that they understand this is the timeline that you're looking at and if you can just keep the bad guy away from you for that long, we will get there. It's the scenario of having a shooter inside a school. Often teachers are told to run to their classrooms and lock the door. But today teachers learned more than just that. They learned to run, hide, or fight. You have three options when one of these events unfold. Your first option is to run, your second option is to hide, and your third option is to fight. And so we want to convey that, how they can do that, the best way that they can do that to protect themselves and their students. North Putnam teacher David Basin watched the shooter walk down the hallway, shooting inside classrooms, imagining his students as the targets. Officers flooded the door one by one as though they were responding to the real deal, searching, chasing down the gunman. But until they arrive, it's up to the teachers like Basin to know what to do, run, hide, or fight. It's kind of scary to think, but it's your life or the intruder's life, and you have to really get into that mode uh, protecting yourself and your students that it may take that to you know either use something in your room a fire extinguisher or something to actually kill that person and because that's you or them a first for teachers but in this day and age a requirement inside school walls in Putnam County with chief photojournalist Mike Lotta Brittany Earl News 10 Thank you Brittany and Mike this class is the first of 3 for the Indiana State Police Putnamville district